and there's a trailer behind the truck. We are on our way to pick up the next Miles of Mayhem project. Yes. Um, I think there's under 90 days to Miles of Mayhem. We'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. June, July 23rd, so insert the days here-ish. We are on route for another Hemi-based project. Um, <laughs> total, like, change of plans um, today was originally going to Lethbridge. For what would have been, like, my favorite color of this car. But that's easy. That's what wraps for. But now we're going to Calgary to Rocky View area to pick up this car that already has a Hemi and is way less work than what we were going to have to do because I found a V6 one that needs a bunch of work, but it's like a perfect chassis to start with. But not really because you'd have to swap the rear diff, you'd have to swap the transmission. It's like all these little things. And if we want to just take this Magnum this year, we don't have to be as concerned. We are obviously concerned, but we're not. So we are on route to Calgary. Paul and I are gonna be uh, making some miles. I'm on my cell phone right now, but uh, we are gonna be going to Calgary. Paul's probably gonna just drop me because I'm gonna go get some cash because I gotta get some cash. Spend it a little more than my budget that I wanted to begin with, but honestly, it's probably not as bad for me. Anyways, I'm gonna put you down and go get some cash. Quick pick stop just outside Edmonton. Paul is gonna fast food grub. We are uh, making some miles. I'm gonna take over here to the other side of Edmonton. Um, I'm just coming off night shift. Um, and honestly, I need to stay on nights. So I'm gonna just get to the other side of Edmonton. And honestly, I know Edmonton a heck of a lot better than Paul. So I'll get us through here and then Paul's gonna take over again. Oh, about an hour and a bit of a nap. We're just rolling in the air. It's a uh, balmy like 15, 16 degrees here. The sun was out. Paul's seen a bunch of cops headed north. Um, lights all lit up. So hopefully that doesn't mean the highway's gonna be all messed up when we're going home, but I guess we'll see. We're going to see a good long time supporter. Chris, I've been a while. He actually called the other day if uh, I was going to be off this last weekend and I told him no because he wanted to come up I think for a visit so yeah so but don't worry the video will get to the new vehicle shortly it's more like a just a travel vlog I guess and yeah it's a full travel vlog we'll reveal the vehicle and then we'll and then we'll uh, probably have it at the shop looking at a few things yeah Meters, your destination will be on the Well, our destination is here. Almost time to show you guys where we're um, Kind of out near a farm, so to speak, just outside of Calgary. I'm not going to show exactly where or what side, just for his own privacy. I still have to kind of discuss with him. I just got to discuss with him that we're going to be filming, but uh, was going to put the drone up in the air, but it's a little windy so we'll see but uh yeah we're just uh currently pulling up he'll probably be here shortly and then we are gonna over look over the car and hopefully boost start it never have i ever been in a situation with a deal where the guy's like hey can you leave and come back like it's it's the most bizarre facebook messaging and ask us if we went on the property like, yeah not yet so you. like he said five so we showed up like five minutes to five. Messaged him, hey, we're here. So I waited, waited, waited. Honestly, we're just a couple innocent rednecks fucking in the middle of nowhere. Kind of close to Calgary. And we're just waiting for a reply that, hey, we're like, come on on. We didn't go on the property, nothing. But yeah, we're so fucking weird. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be filming on the property. Um, and I'll explain that in a bit. I have my suspicions, but honestly, we'll hold that until we're until we're loaded and off the property. Take the next left. An hour later. 
Literally. We're, literally. Um, we're just uh, on our way back to the property and uh, we'll let you know. I don't, he apologized so I got a feeling that it's, we just got the wrong feeling about it. It was just the way things were approached and we'll kind of go what our, our gut feeling was after I'm done this transaction. I just want to get it done with. Um, we're going to try and boost start the car to see what it sounds like running because it might be a haggling point especially because he kind of fucked us around here. We might be able to haggle a bit more off, like just a bit. Just just that little extra budget space just goes a long way on these big projects. Because uh, Polly uh, knows very well there is a lot of money to be spent. And uh, I'm not saying it's all going to be ready for Miles of Mayhem the way I want it, but it's going to be saucy enough for Miles of Mayhem. He's going to be doing some running to the city at some point too, I'm guessing, because with probably my truck, because I don't think four Kirkies are going to sit fit in the back of this car. Oh, oh that <laughs> sounds like a challenge. <laughs> well, kind of see it. Kind of see it. You kind of see it. We're uh, now on road. Uh, so definitely, like, our intuitions were wrong. Uh, the lady that was at the house got pretty creeped out. There was a couple guys sitting in a truck with a trailer outside of the house waiting. So that's all the whole issue was. So we're now have the car. We're actually going to go to Balzac Mall here in Calgary first and then I'll do a walk around. Um, car runs, drives. It's not a V8 car but that's fine. We'll, we'll work with that. We have lots of opportunity to take care of that problem and then kind of go from there. Uh, there's just a lot of work ahead for the next while. Um, gonna have to probably pick up the other charger in Lloyd area, but uh, I'm hoping I can get a bit better of a deal on that car. In 800 meters, continue straight to stay on Alberta 564 West. It's not a bad, it, honestly for a price it's not bad. Like you could honestly drive it, but um, there's some things that need to be looked at. But what we're trying to do with it, it's probably perfect. So, anyways, I'm gonna put you down and we're gonna get the balls act so I can continue get straight to stay on Alberta 564 uh, West. So get Paul where he needs to be. So, before we left, we went to a balls act cross iron mills here and uh, we decided to get a couple burgers. Fucking phenomenal big smoke burger at cross iron mills. So, 10 of 10 would recommend the burger. Fries are pretty tasty too. A little undercooked for my satisfaction. Poutine. Very solid poutine, much better than a regular fast food. This is a fast food restaurant, so to speak, but very good, very good burger. We're gonna finish eating, and then we're gonna do a walk around, because I think you guys deserve to see what it is. After a good scrumptious, just delicious burger, and to you, new to me, 2005 Dodge Magnum. Now this is an XXT. As I said, the, uh, the, unfortunately the V8 model was in a little bit rougher shape, a little bit rust all over. So this one, primary things I'll have to work on is I'll just have to scuff that down on the roof. We'll have to scuff this down and we'll probably just paint it all black. Uh, is on like fumes. So we had to winch it on. That's fine. Maria wants some... 20s, I think. Yeah. Some velocity wheels. 20s for your Dodge Charger, Challenger, Magnum. Let me know. Throw me a throw me an offer. I'll honestly, probably start at like 500 bucks. I'm not gonna use them. They're not gonna do what I want for it. Overall, it is in pretty good shape. Uh, we'll have to scuff this. And then again, door here, but overall it's in pretty good shape. Headlights need a good polish and rear clear coat. The only big downside is it's a sunroof car. So when we go to cage it, We'll have to do sheet metal over it, which is fine. We'll deal with that. But 
I'm introducing you my new go fast car. Um, obviously it's quite slow right now. It's uh, not gonna be probably fast until maybe next year. Goal is a 5.7 Hemi. Stroke probably to a 392. The, the, the BGE blocks are just hard to come by right now for some reason. And then forge rod, crank, piston. That's why I'm gonna stroke it because I want a forged crank. Likely a three liter, whip, three liter Whipple, but if Kyle from Boosted Lifestyle or Nick from Two North Turbos, Black Sheep Industries had anything the same, it'll probably have a pair of turbos on it. It is what I was been after. It's kind of a car I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Ambitious to maybe get it ready for Miles of Mayhem. Uh, the other car might have been a little easier, but there was so much rot. So much rot that I just, I was not sold. So we'll be going over a full build detail. This video might just get dropped as is, uh, edit off my phone, drop it live, and kind of go from there. But so overall, I'm very happy with the car. Uh, I was, uh, I'm I, obviously your him and your ha. It wasn't what we went to the city for. I felt let down by the seller on the condition um there's some other circumstances that are going on if they're watching that's on them but it's beyond their by control but i think we have a very good clean slate uh there is going to be a part two to this and i say that because the part two is i need a donor car and there's a donor car with a motor. Wouldn't that front end on this car look phenomenal? Sorry, uh, no. And so like, this is kind of where we're at. I have a cl very clean starter car to build what I want. I want to build a seven second capable Dodge Magnum. The wheelbase is right. The hatch just makes it that much better. We're gonna have to get hooked up with Risky Habits in Leduc, Nisku area for a full roll cage and four Kirkies. We're gonna do four Kirkies in this biatch. And if we can get it kind of running for Miles Mayhem, we will. I'm not guaranteeing that. Paul seems to think we can. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of things that need to happen before then. Bright side. Alberta car, not BC car. So registering this is gonna be very simple. But I'm gonna put you guys down. We have a lot of driving to do. I'm honestly gonna take a picture for a thumbnail. And yeah, we'll go from there. I hope you guys stay running off-road, on road. You know what, this is Ro Running Joe from Running Joe Motorsports. I hope to see you guys soon. Please stay, pay attention, pay very close attention to all my social medias. We're going to be doing more shop videos. Paul's going to step on board here, and I will see you guys very soon for this full Dodge Magnum build.